morning, Saturday morning. Okay, so we are at the customs on the bridge. But well, we're off the bridge, and they're busy. Damn it! What the hell, man? You're not supposed to be busy. Yeah. So I guess I should announce where I'm going. We are headed to Miami, Florida. Wrong time of year, but oh well, we'll still go. Uh, it won't be probably extremely hot down there, but we'll deal with it. We've got 1,406 miles to go from here. And 23 hours and 18 minutes of driving. Yeah. Supposed to deliver by noon before noon Monday. It's going to be a tough, uh, tough haul here, but uh, we're going to make an attempt at it. Uh, total mileage is like just under 1,600 miles. Right, madam. Right. So, currently we're gonna. This they had us crossing at this border. Don't know why the load came from Quebec. It should have really crossed a thousand islands, uh, but they had it brought to Kitchener, and then yeah. So whatever. I don't argue. I just go the way they want, I guess. But I'm not gonna go the full way they want because, according to the routing, they've got me going across here, going down to Toledo, and then not even taking the toll road, but taking the side highways to get all the way across to Cleveland and then taking the 270 and then a bunch of other roads getting over to 77 and then taking 77 anyways that's just crazy the way they they got the routing I have no idea why but we are most certainly not going that way so anyway we're gonna take 75 down all the way down into Kentucky and then we're gonna decide I don't know if we're gonna cut over and take 75 down all the way but then we'd have to get around Atlanta but mind you on the weekend it shouldn't be too bad or we can take 40 going east a little bit and then get on 26 take it all the way down to I-95 and then go that way that's the way the GPS wants me to go which is actually only 10 miles longer than what the paid miles are so and they're routing I didn't even attempt to see what the hell that was so didn't even want to look at it. So anyway, we're in line, and apparently we've picked the slow lane again. Why? Because that's what I do. Alrighty, we are at our favorite break place, which is at the Michigan Scale. It's the one place I can let Molly off the leash here, because there's lots of room for her to run around. And there's no traffic. So she enjoys it. She usually doesn't go too far. She'll stop and look, see where I am. See where I'm coming, or if I'm coming. But we don't like to let her get too far. Molly, don't be going that far. Don't be going that far. You know better. Huh? Yeah. Now nah, she gets to run around a bit. Stretch those legs. All right, we're on break, period. Like I said, by the scale, we're gonna do, we're starting our second lap now, the parking lot. And uh, she's doing her sniffy sniff explore. And then we haven't decided yet whether we're going to do lunch here or not. We should really go further, but I haven't decided yet. We'll see. Alrighty, boys and girls. According to Qualcomm, we did 592 miles, but according to my dash, which is off right now, we're going to do this. No, I don't know if it'll do it. And I'm getting nine miles to the gallon. We did 598 miles. That's off by six miles. And we've got 986 miles to go to Miami. Florida. So we're going to have to have another 600 mile day tomorrow. That would leave me 386. So we should be able to make it by noon. So I should send in my ETA PTA. I haven't done that yet. Because I didn't think I'd be able to make it. But we are going to... Uh, do it anyways uh zero seven what's today 23rd so tomorrow's the tw no today's not 20, 10 25th so 26 27th one five uh, we're gonna put uh well we'll put 12. we just have to make sure we get up real early zero seven two seven one five 
And we're going to put 1300. And we're going to put uh, 0 4. Well, it says 16 hours. So I did 10. That's 4 and a half. I'll put 5. It says 16 hours, 27 minutes. So that means I'd have to drive six and a half hours roughly I did 10 10 and a half hours tomorrow so yeah it'll be six hours roughly so that'll give me 11 zero five yeah, we'll put that down that may change as we go anyways we're going in the back and so we got to put up our curtain first because the sun is shining in. I thought I was picking a good spot to park. Apparently, apparently I didn't. And we're treating ourselves to Subway. It's so freaking late. It's freaking 7.30. I said, oh, screw it. I don't feel like cooking. Hey, right, Molly, you made a mess of the bed. What the hell have you been doing up here, man? Goodness, dog. Okay. My makeshift curtain got to go up. Alright, there she <laughs> is. Chicken bacon ranch melt. Oh, yeah. I know, I know, but still, I just had a craving. I had to. I just had to. Did I mention we're in Corbin, Kentucky? can't remember if I mentioned that. Oh. Excitement. Oh, I'm so looking forward to it. Oh, my battery's low on my internet thing. I better plug it in. Alrighty, <laughs> well, we're done. Dinner's done. And we're out for our final. How the heck did you get tangled up like this? Stop, 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 stop. Come here. One, two, three. There we go. Holy crap. That was just one messed up tangliness. Right? That was. Really? Really? Stop it. You know better than that, you dink. So, like I said, we're at the pilot in Corbin, Kentucky. The Huddle House. Not that I'm going to it. There are a bunch of trucks parked over there too, but don't know why. There's still room in here. So, truck entrance. It's a beautiful evening out actually. It's not muggy. It's actually nice out. I thought for sure it would be muggy. Ah, the freaking moon's up there already. Did you stop tangling me? See, there's the pilot sign. Over there. Right. Right. So, as we walk along, make sure we don't step in any other dog poop. Again, what is it with the comments that some people say, Jerry, how come I never see you pick up your dog's poop? Um, let's see, because it doesn't make good video material, and I'm pretty sure... 99.9% .9 of the viewers don't want to see me picking up Molly's poop. What are you sniffing at? There's something in the air that you can smell. No restaurants over there, so I don't know what you're smelling. What you smelling? Huh? Anyway, like I said, I'm pretty sure most people don't want to see me picking up dog poop. So that's why I don't show it on camera. Yes, I do. I always pick it up. Here. Look. Where is it? Oh, I already used it. <laughs> nope, there's the other one. Another dog bag in pocket. There's always usually one in there. So, come on, poopy head. She did her poopy earlier, so I'm pretty sure it's just a pee thing right now. And then we're going to bed. So we want to try to have an early start tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and take a shower, and then we're going to get rolling. Hopefully, it works out and fairly early. Hopefully, I can get to sleep pretty quick, but I'm pretty tired. I didn't take a nap today. I don't mold. I got my nap. Oh, Molly. Leave it. Whatever you do, just leave it. Okay, that was just a quick pee break. We're going in. We're going to bed. Yep, that's what we're doing. <laughs> 